Hey everybody, it's Alec with Revival Cycles. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to test your starter solenoid, which is in here. So your bike's not starting. Why isn't it starting? I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. Um, there are many reasons why a bike won't start, right? But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure of, just like anything else when you're testing things, is make sure that you have a fully charged battery. Sometimes you can chase your tail um, searching for problems when it's just low battery, you know, dead battery, things like that. So first and foremost, check your battery, check your connections. So I will be showing you how to test your starter solenoid with this, a test light. Super simple to use, very effective. You can also use a multimeter, just as effective, but for this purpose and demonstration, I will be using this because it's easier. There are a few things that are telltale signs that you could have a bad starter solenoid. One, you turn the bike on, you hit the start button, nothing happens. Two, you start turn the bike on, you hit the start button, you hear a click and nothing happens. Now, doesn't necessarily mean it is your starter solenoid, but that's why we're here today, to make sure that it is or it isn't. Well, all motorcycles are different, as we know, um, and all starter solenoids are in different locations on your bike, depending on the bike. It could be part of the starter itself, um, it could be on the frame somewhere, it could be under the tank, it could be in the tail section like this one is. So, this guy is conveniently, or girl, um, underneath this tail section. Super easy to get to. Make sure you know where yours is first, uh, and then take it from there. The first thing that I usually do is to make sure that you're actually getting battery power to the starter solenoid, right? Because the starter solenoid can't give power unless it has power to give. It's just like life, it's a metaphor, right? This bike is really easy to figure out because since the starter solenoid is so close to the battery, the battery cable is really short, it goes right to it and you can see it right away. So you know that this is supposed to have direct battery voltage to one side of the starter solenoid. Easy to test. I'll show you how right now with your handy test light. To the negative. All right, so we know our battery's good, we know it's got plenty of voltage, and we know where the battery cable is that go to the starter solenoid. So, next step is take the cover off, check for power, and we have it. So we know that the starter solenoid is actually getting power, which is good. So that means that it's got power to give. Um, the second test that I do, and of course these are tests just to make sure that the, the starter solenoid is actually getting the information it needs, information, power, to distribute it, right? We're not even to the point yet where we're gonna test the solenoid. So, the second thing we're gonna test is we're gonna turn the key on, bike's on, and there is a trigger wire for the starter solenoid. So basically, we're gonna make sure that when we press the button, that the starter solenoid is getting a 12 volt reference to actually kick over <clears throat> the contacts on the inside. And as you can see, it is. So, we know that the starter solenoid is getting 12 volts. So in this case, we know that the starter solenoid is clicking, we know that it's working, but sometimes, it won't make a noise. And then that's when you know that something's wrong. And then you'll be testing for power to it. If there's no click, but you're still getting power going to it, then you know that somewhere internally this thing is just not working, right? That's a pretty telltale sign or you can just replace it, right? There's no need to figure out why, unless you're really curious, but you know that it's broken. So, now that we know that we've got power going from, from the battery to the starter solenoid, and we've got the 12 volts trying to trigger the solenoid, and it's actually making the connection, then the next thing we're gonna to wanna to check is 12 volts coming out of it to the starter, right? So this is the one coming in from the battery and this is the lead going out to the starter. So when you hit that starter button and you're getting 12 volts to the trigger, it should make contact on the inside and jump the battery power to the starter. And that's how it works. So let's try that. All right, there we go. So getting 12 volts in, it's getting a trigger, and it's getting 12 volts out. So in this instance, say your bike doesn't start, it's not the starter solenoid. Everything's working properly. Could be the starter itself, could be other things, but that is, that is essentially how you test the starter solenoid. Sometimes I hear that, oh, my bike doesn't start, my starter's broken, my starter solenoid doesn't work. 
I go to start the bike and it cranks and cranks and cranks and nothing happens. Well, if your bike's cranking and it's turning over, when you press the button, your starter's working. Your starter solenoid's working. So it's something else completely different. If it's cranking and it's moving, then your starter and your starter solenoid are working. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, I mean, this test is pretty simple. There's not really much to these things. Power in, trigger wire, power out. Sometimes the hardest part of this is finding where the starter solenoid is on your bike and being able to access it in weird spots. Um, but it's really quick, it's really easy. As a recap, if you hit the starter button, you hear a click, you know it's getting 12 volts to it, so you don't necessarily have to check for power going to it. It's just power coming out of it. Uh, if you hit the button and there's no click, then you can start doing these tests to figure out if it is the starter solenoid or if it is a starter, or if it's the button or the wiring in between. Pretty simple. I know that may sound like a lot, but there aren't many components to the starter circuit, so that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you need a test light, a multimeter, starter solenoid, battery, any of these things, you can get them right on our website. The link is in the description. Thanks. Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive in a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We wanna teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.